dig it, y'all. Uh, this next comic, uh, this guy, we uh, we go way back. He uh, he runs a show at uh, Martuni's once a month. Very great show. I forgot what day it is. The first Monday of every month. Go over there. It's a great show. Great club, too. Uh, very funny guy. A lot of polish. Very sharp. Very clever. He's also started out the brainwash, too, didn't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Everybody, here he is. Come on, y'all. Everybody give it up for Nick Leonard. Hi, Comedy Day. Um, so I don't know if you can tell about me, but I'm the kind of person that really loves holidays. Uh, I like to get in the spirit of holidays and have fun with it. And it, it, It's not always appreciated, though. It, it, sometimes it is. Like, like if you wear a Santa hat around Christmas, people think, oh, that's so cute. Or wear some bunny ears for Easter. Oh, that's adorable. For a little makeup for Martin Luther King Day. Oh, that's terrible. So it's a, it's a thin line, and I got to keep on the one side of it. Uh, I mean, I have my favorite holidays, um, like there's Columbus Day, we celebrate Columbus discovering America, like Hitler discovered Poland. Um, but if there's one thing I like better in holidays, it's an awkward segue. Um, so I've, I've got a couple of cats at home. And one of my cats, he really likes me, but he shows it in that gross way that cats do, you know, where he keeps bringing me little dead animals as presents. See, I know he means well, but someone's going to start missing all those chihuahuas. Right. Plus, my freezer's getting full. I mean, I made a I made a casserole for the office party last week, but that's just a temporary fix. Um, but uh, yeah, San Francisco. I, uh, I I live in the in the Castro neighborhood, which you guys have probably probably heard of. Uh, it's a you know historical. It's it, I mean, it's mostly known as a, it's a gay near It's a famous gay neighborhood. So sometimes it's almost too gay. It's the kind of neighborhood where you can leave a little gay apartment, say goodbye to your gay roommate, go down to the gay restaurant with the gay waiters, the other gay customers, and afterwards go to the gay film festival with the gay movies, buy gay people, about gay people, then head down the street to the gay bookstore with the gay books and gay magazines, buy a sticker that says celebrate diversity. <laughs> it's it's a, an irony-free zone, apparently. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm gay. Thank you, thank you. Um, but I live in San Francisco. I'm a redundancy. But um, I'm, also, I'm also Irish. And of course, the great thing about being gay and Irish is I get two parades to be embarrassed by every year. That's really nice. Um, but I do go to the Pride Parade. And, and I, got, I got to say, any, any Pride or gay-related event, the best part about it, and, and maybe some of you agree with me, is, this, is the drag queens, the San Francisco drag queens specifically. Yeah, let's hear for the drag queens. You live here, you know them. It's a, amazing how good they look. I mean, the, all the work, the, the wigs, the shoes. It, it's, in, in case you can't tell, I'm completely jealous of how good they look. I, um, I, I've tried drag a couple of times myself, and believe it or not, I don't look that good. No, no, don't be kind. It's, it's true. But I, and I, actually, I put a good effort into it, too. Last time I dressed in drag, I actually got a corset that gave me a 30-inch waist and a 44-inch neck. Not a good look. Thanks, Comedy Day. Three, four. Have fun. Hey, everybody, give it up for Nick Leonard, y'all.